Today we're going to be harvesting in the garden and the class will come out and they'll pick up a trowel. They'll go to their garden beds and dig for potatoes and as they find them they'll bring them over here to these buckets and wash them off a little bit and then they're going to continue on around to where I have a counter who will be collecting and we're kind of having a little friendly competition between the number of potatoes each class finds. So we're counting the potatoes and then they can go back and either look for more or other children will be harvesting some of the beans and tomatoes and squash that are ready to be harvested. And then we'll gather up over in what little shade we can find today and uh, kind of wrap up the lesson and discuss about potatoes and have a little tasting of some of the things that are growing in our garden at this time of the year. Today we have at our uh, washing station, we have water with some wash rags and we're teaching the children to use the wash rags so that they can gently wash away the dirt without hurting the delicate skin of the potatoes that have just come out of the garden. My name is Mrs. Bateman and uh, last week you came out and did the flower pressing and this week starts your regular classes and I'm going to be your garden coordinator for the entire year and so um, I will come in every Friday in the afternoon and we'll go out and do a lot of fun and interesting things in the garden. If you were in gardening last year, do you remember planting potatoes? Yes. yes. I, we took little parts of a potato called a seed potato and put that in the dirt. Do you remember doing that and we buried it? Yes. All right, what do you think has happened between last spring when we did that and today? What do you think's happened to that potato? It, it grew. How did it grow? What do you think they do with the I sun? I that potato. Yes. Um, because um, they eat it because it's like food source. That's right. The sun is like a food source. Very good. Can you tell the class what part of a plant is that little thing that I'm pointing to right here? Leaf. That is a leaf. Why do plants have leaves? And why do they need to collect the sunlight and water? Go ahead. To live. That's how they get their food and their energy. Do you need food and water to grow? Yes. Yeah, we need food and water for our energy source as well. The roots have to soak up the water to get energy. I've had classes that harvested the whole class, dug and dug, and they only found four potatoes. The whole entire class. I had another class dig and dig, and that class found 360. Oh so I have no idea how many potatoes are buried. We're just going to have to do our best to find them. All right, this is where we're going to count potatoes. So this will be your bucket, and I've got your little stock and shade. You can sit and for people to get their potatoes. The rest of you are going to come in line with me. You're going to grab a trowel, stay in line, and I'll show you where you're bringing. One, two, honey, over here, sweetie. All the way to the end of that bed. Three, four, to the end of this bed, right here. And that's where we're going to start digging. Oh my gosh. Oh, look what you wow. found. Let's see one. it. There Let's you see. go. Turn it we in. found one. Where's the watch? We found a jackpot. There's one. There's one. Guys, I think I found one. All right, let me see. There you go. And then pull with one hand. Would the two of you like to see if you can find any beans right here and put them in this white bucket? Yay! We are finding some! Yay! Good job! Red and yellow. Oh, yay! We get tasting! We just had a potato harvest, and I asked one of the kids if they thought it was a good harvest or a bad harvest. What, what would make the difference? I said bad harvest. And, and tell me why you said that. Because we don't have that much. We did. How many of you found a potato? Raise your hand if you found more than five potatoes. Mm. Are there? Oh, no one. Yeah, did anyone find at least two potatoes? So why do you think it is that we can't find so many today? What do you think might have happened to them? Died. Why would they might die? What would make a plant die? That they they shrank. 
All right, so maybe they just didn't get a good start. Any other reasons? I can tell you that up on the hill gardens this summer, we had a little beetle called a potato beetle. And that beetle would like to eat all the leaves of a potato plant. Now, how would that make for a good or bad harvest? Why would that make a bad harvest? You said bad, why? Um, because if you eat it, then the bug might still be in it. Oh. Okay. Well, if, if it ate all the leaves, is that plant going to live without its leaves? Mm -hmm. And if the plant doesn't li live, is it going to form uh, potatoes underground? No. no. So maybe we had some problems with a bug. What we're going to do next is I'm going to look for people who would like to help us serve our vegetables. We have samples of cucumber. We have samples of tomatoes. These are all tomato varieties. Do they look the same? No. No, some are little red cherry tomato balls, and other ones are a little yellow tomato. Yeah. Um, they're both very good. This is kohlrabi. Now, I know if you had gardening last spring, you tasted it. It kind of has, um, well, I'm going to let you tell me, describe it after you taste it. So, Cole, you're going to take the kohlrabi. And would you come stand over here? Kohlrabi. <laughs> yeah, I get it. It's kind of hard since they're all rolling. As far as planning the class, the, the biggest thing I've learned is that you have to be flexible and that um, you have to go with what happens in the garden. For example, not getting a good harvest turns into as much a lesson as if we had found a lot of potatoes. Um, we always have other things up our sleeves that we can um, have the kids do if one um, activity is absolutely not working. We almost always have something else we can turn to, or if the class is too concentrated in one area, we always have alternatives that we can split up, and the teacher will take half and is always glad to lead that part as long as we've given her um, the idea of what we want to cover. The time that we have that class is just spent on learning and not cleaning up or setting up because um, for most of the teachers, scheduling is a real issue, so we want to make the most positive use of the time we have with the kids. Okay. My hair's too gross to take my hat off. <laughs> All right, so you ready? Um, about today, uh, the heat was the biggest issue for me more than the kids because they're not out in it all day long. Um, as far as the harvesting, it, it's a little disappointing. Even 30 sounds like a lot, but it wasn't. There were several kids that didn't get one. Um, when I have parent volunteers, I do a better job of having them collect some of the other fruit that is growing. And um, I think they did pretty good. Cool, Robbie. <laughs> yes, I get it.